Hi, welcome back to Colski RC. So today's got something different. Today we're going to do a thing called chat time. So once in a while I'm going to do these videos, I'm just going to talk about new stuff that's coming out, new drones. And today I want to focus on the new Hudson Zeno Pro and also the unique Mantis G. So let's focus on the Mantis G. I'll probably have the advert playing somewhere up here that it's out, that's coming out. And if you go on the website, it's pretty... Well, it's not the best, actually, description of what this thing's got. It's got a two-axis gimbal by the looks. It certainly hasn't got a three-axis because there's nowhere for it to rotate on the front of the drone. It looks hard up against the edge to me, but it says stabilised gimbal. So I'm guessing it's going to have a two-axis gimbal. So it's going to have a two-axis gimbal and produce 4K, and it's got 31-minute flight time. All these things look great. I have owned the Mantis Q. I've done videos on it in the past. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you'll probably see that I've done that. So it flew well. I'm not saying it didn't fly well. It did. It flew very well. It was quite intuitive. The only thing the issues it had to me was I'd lose app connectivity sometimes. And the camera was truly appalling. The camera was just a complete waste of time. I ended up getting rid of it very quickly because I didn't want to fly something. It was pointless to fly. If it were a hundred quid drone, you could maybe understand it, but the camera was that bad. It said it had a stabilised image, but the image wasn't stabilised to me. I did a comparison with the Unique Breeze. The Unique Breeze killed it. And the biggest problem I think with this drone at 649 quid, is it's coming up against this, which is the Mavic Air, or also the Parrot and Affe. So it looks more like this. It's got a very similar shape to it. And this is what it's going to go up against, which has got a three axis gimbal. The Mavic Air is a bit marmite, some people like it, some people don't, but it's still going to be what it's going to go up against and what it's going to be compared to because of its size, its form factor and everything else about it. The other thing about the Mantis Q is it has a quite a strange remote, it's almost a bit like a Parrot and Affy, but not quite, they haven't quite got it to that standard and the sticks don't feel the best on it. So I think they're going to struggle with that. And certainly I won't be jumping in to buy one. Maybe when it's come down it becomes second hand I might have a look at buying one. But certainly I won't buy one new. It's a nice to have new drones out in the market. Of course it is. But I do think this is going to have a limited market. And they're very late to the party with this. This is a drone that should have come out a couple of years ago. Not today. Not in 2019. Moving into 2020. I think they've missed the boat on this one. And I think the only thing they've done is put a gimbal on the front of the Mantis Q. I don't think it's a winner to me. I might be proved wrong and hope I am because the competition is great. The other thing that's coming out obviously is the um, Hubson Zeno Pro. So this is the Hubson Zeno. I've got the main difference between this and the Pro is the Pro has a four kilometer range because it uses this thing called Lias 1 I believe it is which is its transmission this signal between here and here and also to your, to your phone. So there's main differences. The other thing it's got a difference is you can now fit uh, ND filters on the front of it. I believe you can fit ND filters on the front of here because if you go look now today on Banggood I've got them, Gearbest I've got them and I think AliExpress I've got them. You can buy the ND gimbals for this or the new Pro. So I will get hold of some of the ND filters for this. I've also got the Pro on order. I don't know if, if you've seen my comment I made. I put a comment on the discussion group and I have got that on order so as soon as it comes I'll have the review of it and the other thing they're saying is the control has been enhanced now what they mean by enhanced I do not know so have they have they changed these horrible things they say it's more professional grade so if you've watched my channel for a long time you know I've had a lot of I've done a lot of Xeno videos when I first got this thing I did not like it I thought it was flew badly my camera was particularly bad which turned out to be an issue with the camera but fair play to Hubs and they've put a lot, lot of effort in with firmware updates, getting this thing to fly really well. I now love the thing. I think it flies fantastic and I don't think it's beatable value for money. But 250 quid you can pick the Xeno up for, for the package which you just got one battery, the controller, no case or anything. That's all you need. I think it's unbeatable. I think the value is fantastic. The camera looks great now and it flies something like. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. It's not a DJI, it's not an Alta Levo, but it's not that money. It's a cheap drone. The issue it still has is these. So these, so the biggest difference between this toy grade, and this is the toy grade, I don't care what anybody says, it's a toy grade transmitter. This does not have gimbals. This has potentiometers directly behind the stick. So all you have is a potentiometer. So the exactly the same thing you're going to get on the, if you take your PlayStation controller in bits or your Xbox controller on the bottom of this. A gimbal is a proper mechanical 
unit that's inside here that's potentially oriented on the top and bottom of it so it measures how far you're moving your sticks I cannot see they put gimbals on it I think they will have just hopefully replaced these potentiometers with something much better and I hope it's just not a firmware upgrade they've done to this controller because that'd be devastating they called it a pro but to me it's a Xeno Mark 2 or version 2 because if it's got a pro you'd expect it to come with sensors on the bottom it has none of that it has no optical avoidance it has none of that it's just a Xeno version 2 I still order it because I love the Xeno when I get it, I will take this controller in bits and I'll take the black controller in bits because the only way we're going to know what the difference is is to have a look inside them. So I'll do that when I get them. That's what I wanted to talk about today, the two new things coming out. There's other things on the horizon. When's the new, Mav when's the new Mavic Mini or if that's what it's going to be called? Is it coming out? Has it been all a big hoax? It'll be nice if that does come out and the price point of that's going to be, but now I don't know when that is because no one seems to be mentioned in it. And... You yeah, saw so I did a, not a review, I did a update on the Parrot and Affy that you could fly it with uh, any kind of VR goggles for the cheap 10 quid, 12 quid VR goggles. You just put your phone in the front of it and now the option is there if you've done your firmware upgrade to fly it like that. The only thing you haven't got is the on-screen on -screen touch, you just set it up before you fly. You're not going to spend the extra money to buy the kit, they don't sell the goggles separately. So it is an update and it's a good update and it's some of a good phone. I love to fly it that way, it's really good phone. So moving forward, I'm gonna have more videos on various other things. You'll have saw that did the egg drone, which has been a bit marmite, yeah, it's the loudest thing in the world, but I'll have some more videos coming up on that. These are gonna be quite regular to do it when we've got things to talk about, when new things come out in FPV, and we've got things to discuss, I'll do that as well as review them. So thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching my channel, if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell, there's plenty more good stuff coming up.